Hey guys, just going to make a quick video here on how I go through um, different settings as efficiently and effectively as possible to find the best numbers for a back test and a strategy. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, we're on crude oil here, so let me get rid of all the monogamy tags. First thing we need is a strategy that has some inputs. I know there's a moving average one on here. Uh, there's a sorry, moving average strategy right here. Add this to the chart, and as you'll see, I mean, it's not a very good 1500 trades. You're never going to be able to automate that, never mind the spread. Um, so, what we're going to want to do is change these numbers. What I do is I just multiply both sides by 10, save it, and now we look going here. So, instead of 9 and 1, now it's 90 and 10. So, we can quickly go through it. 110, 120, 130, 170, 200, 230, getting a lot nicer, 180, 190, 300, 310, uh, 120, good enough. Let's go through this guy now. 20 bars, 30 bars, 40 bars, 50 bars. Now I know at first glance this uh, does not look really good but it is a consistent decline. Uh, we are only on the one minute candles here, so not much to really go off of, but we'll do a, a double little tutorial here. So we're at 310 and 50 bars, thanks to our little times 10 multiplier. So let's go with 310 here, 50 bars. We'll get rid of our little multiplier here. And while we're in here, seeing how it was a, a nice steady decline, if we simply change when we're long and when we're shorting, flip them, now our back test should be the opposite. Okay, so now we're looking at a 3.8 profit factor already. Um, this is about two minutes in. And now we can fine tune our 310 settings, 311. So from 310, we we're at 3.887 profit factor. 311, 3.95, 3.986. 5, so it looks like probably going to be the best around 314. The same with the bars now. We could go oh, it's going down. Oh, there we go. 4. So it looks like 51 bars. Again, this is one minute, so it's, it's not as reliable as you might really think. Um, no, I shouldn't say as reliable. The back test is only from the 23rd. We are currently the 1st, so you're looking at about a one week worth of back test. Um, if you look at your performance summary, actually max contracts held is only one because we don't have pyramiding on. So if you actually turn pyramiding on, you see where all the crosses and everything are going to happen. Um, so your orders went up there 25, you're at a 5 profit factor now. So without it, you only made 18 trades. So the pyramid, you were actually at 1.4 trades at once. Quickly go through, you can probably be able to find that section, uh, long, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, actually at first glance this strategy does not look that bad at all, we caught the bottom here, nice catch at the top, again, lower, higher, buy low, sell high, and so a little loss here, uh, pretty much a break even, but sell high, buy low, break even, loss, and you got win, followed by another quick win, loss, little win, decent win. See, it's not the top, it's catching the top here, this, this MACD cross, or this moving average cross of 314 going back 51 bars. Anyways, I hope that gives you a general idea of how to quickly and easily go through numbers until you get decent looking back test. Um, if you're happy with something, you know, always forward test it for a week or two, especially if you're on the one minute candles, you're going to want uh, more than one week worth of data. Um, and then of course, using the auto view Chrome extension, you can automate all this via your alerts. Um, once that's all set up and running, then it is essentially ATM built right into trading view, printing money for you. Um, 
let me know if this helps. As per the usual, Crypto Rocks on uh, Trading View. You can PM me anytime. Um, if you ever wanted to join our Slack room, where there's a bunch of us in there working with AutoView Extension, working on strategies, etc., etc., you can send me your email in a PM, and I'll get you invited.